1886, there was a bomb blast that took place in the hay market in Chicago during the labor rally. And 12 innocent people were killed. One amongst them was a policeman by the name of Dijin. Later on, seven policemen were injured and they died in the hospital. The people responsible for this act, they were not Muslims. There were eight anarchists, all of them non-Muslims. When we analyze the record of the terrorist attacks that have taken place in the 20th century, we know from the historical records that on the 6th of September, 1901, the then president of USA, William McKinley, he was assassinated by an anarchist by the name of Leon. He was shot twice by Leon. He was a non-Muslim. On the 1st of October, 1910, there was a bomb blast that took place in the Los Angeles Times newspaper building, in which 21 innocent people were killed. The people responsible for this bomb blast, there were two Christians by the name of James and Joseph. They were union leaders. They were non-Muslims. We know that on the 28th of June, 1914, in Sarvajo, France, the Archduke of Austria, along with his wife, they were assassinated, which precipitated the World War I. The people responsible for this assassination, they were called the Young Bosnia. Most of them, they were Serbs. They were not Muslims. From historical record, we come to know that on the 16th of April, 1925, there was a bomb blast that took place in St. Nadelia Church in Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria, in which more than 150 innocent people were killed and more than 500 injured. It was the biggest terrorist attack that has taken place on the soil of Bulgaria. It was conducted by the Bulgarian Communist Party. They were not Muslims. We know from historical records that on the 9th of October, 1934, King Alexander I of Yugoslavia, he was assassinated by a gunman by the name of Lada Georgiev. He was a non-Muslim. The first US plane to be hijacked, it was not by a Muslim, it was by a non-Muslim by the name of Ortiz. He hijacked the US airliner to Cuba, and he later on got their asylum. When we go to the records of terrorist attacks done, we come to know that in the year 1968, the ambassador to Guatemala, he was assassinated by a non-Muslim. In 1969, the ambassador to Japan, he was knifed by a Japanese non-Muslim. The ambassador to Brazil in 1969, he was kidnapped by a non-Muslim. The famous attack, the Oklahoma bombing, which took place on 19th of April, 1995, where there was a truck loaded with a bomb, which rammed into the federal building in Oklahoma, which killed 166 innocent human beings. And hundreds other were injured. Initially, it came in the press, Middle East conspiracy, for days together. Later on, they came to know it were two right-wing activists, Christians by the name of Timothy and Terry, who were responsible for the bombing of the federal building in Oklahoma. But when this news comes, it comes for a couple of days and then it vanishes. But before, for several days, Middle East conspiracy, Middle East conspiracy. After World War II, from 1941 to 1948, in a span of eight years, 259 terrorist attacks were conducted by Jewish terrorists. By many organizations, Ignun, Stern Gang, Haganah, and we know of the famous bombing of King David Hotel, which took place on the 22nd of July, 1946. They were conducted by Ignun under the leadership of Menekin Begin, in which 91 innocent people were killed, out of which 28 were British, 41 were Arabs, 17 Jews, and five others. The Ignun group, they dressed up as Arabs to show as though Muslims did the bombing. And the person responsible was Menekin Begin. And it was the biggest terrorist attack against the history of British mandate, in which 91 people were killed. And at that time, Menekin Begin, he was called as terrorist number one by the British government. Later on, after a few years, 
he becomes the Prime Minister of Israel. And later on, after a few years, he gets the Nobel Prize for Peace. Imagine a person who has killed a person who has killed hundreds and thousands of innocent human beings becomes the Prime Minister of Israel and later on gets the Nobel Prize for Peace. And most of the groups that were fighting, like Stern Gang, Ignun, Haganah, all of these Jewish groups and the leaders like Yatisak Suribin, Menachem Begin, Ariel Sharon, later on became Prime Ministers and high holding ranks in the state of Israel. And all of them, they were fighting for a Jewish state. If you see the world map, before 1945, Israel did not exist. Israel didn't exist. These Jewish groups, they were called as terrorists by the Britishers. They fought for a Jewish state. Later on, with power, they grabbed the land and they kicked the Palestinians out. And now the same people are calling the same Palestinians who are fighting for a more just cause, for getting the land back. And they are labeled today as terrorists by the Israelis. Imagine Hitler insulated six million Jews. He kicks the Jewish community out. Why should they come to Palestine? The Palestinians, they welcome the cousins with open hands. If they should take a land, they should go back to Germany. They should go back to Europe. Imagine the Palestinians they welcome the cousins. Imagine, suppose a visitor comes to your house. Being a stranger, you welcome him in your house. After a few days, he kicks you out of the house. And when you cry at the doorstep, I want my house back, people call you a terrorist. <laughs> this is exactly what has happened today. The Palestinians, they are called as terrorists for what? They only want the land back. And so-called people, most of these powerful first world countries, they are agreeing with this unjust cause. We know that in Germany, from historical records, from 1968 to 1992, the Badr-Benhoff gang, they killed several innocent human beings. In Italy, we come to know from records about the Red Brigades, which has killed several innocent human beings. They were also responsible for kidnapping the Prime Minister of Italy, Aldo Moro. And after 55 days, they killed him. Further, when we come, a similar gang, a similar terrorist outfit, we know, was also in Japan. The Japanese Red Army. They were Buddhist cult. Om Shirito, they were Buddhist cult. And they tried to kill thousands of people in the Tokyo subway by the nerve gas. But unfortunately, they weren't very successful. They were only able to kill 12 people, but more than 5,700 innocent human beings, they were injured and wounded because of this nerve gas. They were Buddhist. In UK, for about 100 years, the IRA, Irish Republican Army, they are conducting attacks against UK. They are Catholics, but they are never called as Catholic terrorists. They are called as IRA. And we know they have conducted several terrorist attacks. Only in 1972, three bomb blasts were done. In the first one, seven people were killed. In the second one, 11 were killed. And third one, nine were killed. In 1974, they did two bomb blasts. In the Guildford pub, they killed five innocent people and injured 44 people. In the Birmingham pub, 21 innocent people were killed by the bomb blast and 182 were injured. Time doesn't permit me to speak about all the activities they did. I'm just mentioning a few, just at random. In 1996, they did a bomb blast in London where two people were killed and more than 100 were injured. Further, in 1996, a bomb blast was done in the shopping area of Manchester where 206 people were injured. In 1998, Bambridge bomb blast, where 500 pounds of bomb was loaded in a car in which 35 innocent people were injured. In the same year, we know from records about the OMAC bomb blast, where a 500 pound of bomb was put in a car and 29 innocent people were killed and 330 were injured. All the